All right, so we've gone through the user guide and uh, we've decided we're basically going to build out what you know the robot that they've suggested, which is this little tank here. It's this picture you see. Um, it's pretty basic. It looks like I'll be using the test pad, and that's just to get us started with Lego Mindstorms. I'm sure in the future we'll have more projects that we'll do with Lego Mindstorms, and you'll see us do advanced things. Um, I just wanted to quickly walk through the user guide so you can kind of see what you can expect from it. As you can see, it's nicely illustrated, easy to read, step-by-step -step instructions on how to build the kit. Looks like there's about 20 instructions overall on how to build it. So that's not too bad. I'm assuming that the build time might be less than an hour. Shows you some more pictures of how to connect all these different sensors, and it talks about each sensor as well. Uh, shows you about connecting the technology together. Talks about the software. Talks about more about the microcontroller, the, the functionality of it, things like that, Bluetooth. Um, then it gets into some of the sensors. I'm not sure if all these sensors are included in the kit, but they might be. The, for example, here's a color sensor. Here you have a touch sensor, an ultrasonic sensor. So we were right about that, an ultrasonic sensor. And uh, actually, I'm going to go back here. We actually said this was something that shot out. Actually, that's a touch sensor. So when it bumps into something, it'll back up or react to it. Um, and these are the uh, interactive servo motors that we talked about, those little arms. And then we start talking about Bluetooth here. And then on the software installation, connecting, using the software. The software looks really nice. I'm kind of eager to get started with that more than anything. Um, a lot of times when you buy robot kits, it lacks in the software portion. Lego actually completed the whole circle, and they were able to put it all together nicely. Um, shows you about connecting, programming, how to use the software, the Robo Center. All of these things we're going to go in detail. You know, I'm just kind of giving you a quick run around. This is the test pad that we uh, first seen in the first video, and I guess it's going to be used for line following and edge detection. Um, this would be good for competitions and practicing. So if you're looking to get into robotics and practice, and and you're not really sure what you need to do, and you want to have, you know, you know maybe it's for your your kids, or maybe it's you know for you, it doesn't really matter. But you want to get started and get familiar. This might be a good kit. Um, especially since it doesn't require much knowledge of electronics, um, you just kind of you have to know how to build things, put them together, and then use the software to program the uh, microcontroller that's included with the Lego Mindstorms. And in the back portion, it tells you all the things that are included in the kit. As you can see, there's quite a bit of things. These are all building materials more than anything. So the next video, you'll actually see us. We're going to start going through this guidebook and building this little tank that we see here in the picture.